All right, guys, we are at the Akatink Creek. We're about to cross over. Uh, we're doing some fishing by Google Maps, so we uh, found a lake straight across about on Google Maps we've never been to before. Uh, got some, uh, some crankbaits, got some tackle in my bag, and this spinning rod from Walmart. <clears throat> and hopefully we're going to hook up to our really first fish through the winter. It's been a tough winter for fishing. Yo, it's so deep. Dude, I didn't think it was that deep. Pretty flooded up here. Uh, looks like we might be coming up on the coming up on the spot. All right, guys, so we're turning back. There's a bunch of uh, no trespassing signs all over, and we don't want to get into anything illegal. So we're heading back, and we're going to fish the uh, Acton Creek for a bit, and then hold, hopefully head up to uh, a new drain spot. All right, guys, we are here. I'm getting hit by a little bluegill, I think. Are you seeing lots of fish, Thomas? Yes, it's easy. It's easy. that. So our tiny little fish finder there is registering tons of fish. Boys! Yes! First winter fish of 2019. First fish of 2019. It has been a long time coming. Always. Of course it's a chub, but honestly, anything's welcome at this point. All right, bud, relax. Even a fish as small as this is a really welcome sight, man. All right. Off you go, bud. There he goes. Back to the depths. We got a much bigger fish right here. Still a chub, but that is probably one of the biggest chubs that I have caught. They don't usually get too big around here, especially in little creeks like this. Look at that thing. Oh, dude, he's got horns. Dude, that thing, where we caught one hidden pond? This is the same fish we spotted at a hidden pond a, lo a long time ago. I mean, you know, guys, do chubs normally have horns? Oh, like they do, like this one does, right along his head. All right, bud, there you go. Well, we have obviously stumbled across a good little fishing spot. This is a winner. All right, guys. So Thomas has set out a little bait, uh, and we're gonna go into this here sewer. We've been down it once before, um, so and there's a little little drainage bit down at the end. And we're gonna see if we can catch a fish straight out of the sewer. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. All right, here we go into the depths of the uh, sewer. Dude, my light better not be almost out of battery. That's probably why it's not bright right now. How deep is it? Oh, dude. Dude, that's that's deep, but I doubt there's fish in there. Um, I kind of want to jump. I kind of want to jump for it. I like on my back. Like... Here, if you hold my backpack, can I jump for that? Hold your backpack. I'm already wet. So that it doesn't like. I don't have a. Okay. Ready, guys? I'm jumping for it in three, two. Oh. Now, what do I do? Uh, here, hand me my bag. How do we get, do we get back? Where are you going? Wait, can you shut the light? Do I want to step here? Mm-hmm. Okay, that was as bad as I thought it was. I don't know how much you guys can see, but... Oh, guys, I know you can't see anything right now. I can't see anything here. Oh, oh, what's up? Oh, I hooked you, I hooked you, I hooked you. I hooked you, oh no. Okay, you get this hook. I've been hooked, guys. You get it? No, oh. I didn't get it. I can't get it out. This pair, dude. I got it. All right. Mission is a go. We're gonna come out on the other side. Hey! Here we are. What the heck? Yo, where? We just came out on the other side of the beltway. All right, so we just crossed under the beltway. We're next to H Mart Annandale. <laughs> We're near the Annandale H Mart. 